Okay, y'all. Yeah, I'm looking an extra hot mess, but my allergies were trying to kill me all week long. And y'all were do a story time. I was going to do it yesterday, <coughs> but I went to sleep at 6 o'clock in the evening and woke up just in enough time to find out that 21 and winter had some transitions. So, let me tell you the story about how I got maced in the club, all right? 2003 is when I started my freshman year of college and I attended Bowling Green State University, which is in Bowling Green, Ohio. It's an extremely small city. Literally downtown is two blocks. Very exciting, very college town. Mm -mm -mm. It was an hour and some change away from Detroit, which is where I grew up. So it wasn't too far from home, but just enough of a distance. I didn't do a lot of clubbing. In fact, I didn't do any partying or clubbing when I was a high schooler because I wanted to wait until I was old enough where my mama couldn't threaten my life and like lock me out. So I waited until college. This was September of 2003. So I had already done the summer session. I graduated in June and immediately enrolled and went to school in July. I was playing no games. Plus I kind of had no choice in that because I was there on a scholarship. So. <coughs> excuse me and you'll have to excuse the coughing I'm not sick it's allergies allergies can make you cough so we'll get through this okay it's September 2003 I am out on my own I have just done Panhellenic Rush with uh, one of my girlfriends who lives across the hall from me and I lived in a co-ed res hall so the girls were on one side then the resident aide was in the middle and then the guys were on the other so my boyfriend who was on the football team I mean that's a different story he was on the other side of the hall so we were going out the night before we would find out if she would get into a sorority or if I would get into a sorority, anything of the sort. I did rush Panhellenic and was pulled into Phi Mu, but I did not stay with Phi Mu. I actually left, established a multicultural sorority of my own, and then uh, left the school, and that sorority ended up evolving into another organization. So it got absolved. And uh, then I went the black Greek direction. But again, that's another story for another day. So <laughs> we get all dressed up and everything. I'm super excited. She's pumped. This is a big deal for her. And we're going to call her Baby Bear in the story because that just makes it easy. And we go tell my guy, hey, you know, going out, me and Baby Bear are going to go down to the club now mind you this is a rural area so there's no club there's bars which is a totally different feel and i knew we were getting ready to have a game against two Ledoux. i'm sorry not two Ledoux. <laughs> toledo growing up in detroit i used to call toledo ohio two Ledoux or little detroit <coughs> they'll get over it <clears throat> anywho so, you know, you don't go up to Tuladu, plus I didn't have a car. We could just walk the four blocks up the road from the Res Hall, past Waffle House, think about eating that. The bar that we went to was called Kamikaze, I believe that was the name of it at the time, and it was across the street from BW3s. Mm -mm -mm. So we had it all planned. We had our money and our pockets. We didn't carry purses. We had our student ID so we could get in for free. We was going to dance for a while. We was going to go straight across the street to Buffalo Wild Wings, get us some grubbage, bring it back to the dorm, and watch Dave Chappelle show. So <laughs> we had plans. You know, we had plans. So we go to the bar and it's packed. It's absolutely packed. Everybody is in their best attire either it was bought from the one of three places you could get clothes in the area it was a little boutique store it was walmart and then it was myers up at the other end and myers is like the midwest version of walmart so you got your clothes from there or whatever or you had some stuff from back wherever home was for you and i had on some black heels they were not sling back. They were they were pumps, but they were cute pumps. They were real cute because Baker's was still around there. I used to love to get my hooker shoes from Baker's. That ain't what it was called. I mean, it was really called Baker's shoes, but I used to call it Baker's hooker shoes. I wasn't a hooker, but the shoes looked like it. Didn't matter. I was sharp. I was sharp. I had on my jeans because I barely ever wear anything but jeans. <coughs> cute top. Baby Bear had on a black crop top, black pants, and cute uh, open toe heels. Cool. 
having a blast. We're looking at everybody from University of Toledo. It's the BG people. We look at some of the uh, frat boys are out there and whatnot. Some of the sorority girls and some of the people who rushed with us were out in the mix. It was really cool. If you came out of there and you went two doors over, then that's what black folk was. But Big Bear was white and Hispanic. So we was going to go from one to the other. Like I said, we had a plan. We had a plan. All right. So we are there and we're having a blast and then my song comes on which is Sugar. Step inside, walk this way, you want to be Now you know I don't I don't need anybody to dance with me. But me and Baby Bear was in the middle of the floor cutting up. I feel like everybody in the bar just cleared out completely. We were jamming, twisting around, throwing hair. My hair was much longer than it is now. Hers was even longer. We were grooving. While we're doing all of this, we're, what, a minute at max into the song. Behind Baby Bear, close to the stage, where a live band would perform or a DJ. In this case, it wasn't. He wasn't even up there. I think the music was playing from behind the actual bar area. <coughs> Whatever the case may be, I see a football player from BGSU with some people behind him talking massive smack to a Tula Do football player, and they talking and getting in each other's faces. But I'm still pouring some sugar on that. I'm rocking. I'm jamming. So the song gets to the second verse and her and I have like done some little crazy little circle where now my back is to the stage and she's to the opposing direction. Along the wall near the entrance is the security guy and then there's uh, it's a couple of other security guys and then without a doubt there was definitely a cop. There was definitely a cop in there. So. BG and Tula Doo Doo arguing behind me, but I'm I'm in the zone. So the second verse starts, and you know I'm mouthing the words. Again, there's like nobody on the floor, and if I was a smart young lady, I would have realized everyone was clearing out because a fight was about to start. But I didn't care. All I could hear was the Def Leppard song in the back of my head. I heard who said, who said, uh, and then all I heard was. Like, I got sprayed at that very moment. <laughs> I don't know who had the mace. I just know the song was playing in the background. My eyeballs was on fire. I heard somebody throw a punch. Baby Bear is screaming. My shoe done fell off. <laughs> I'm on the floor. It got really bad, really fast. <laughs> Y'all, you just don't undo the memory of almost dying dancing to one of your favorite songs you just don't so the football players are fighting i'm on the floor pawing around for my shoe while my eye is on fire and um I, I guess i found it i crawled my way out everybody was ushered out everything was quickly taken care of but her makeup was all running she was crying i was emotional ain't nobody get chicken wings we just went back home and uh yeah that's the story because what else can I bring to the table? Don't be naive up in the club, all right? That's, that's what I got to say. <laughs> Bye, y'all.